So I know that in Atlanta there were protests. Stop Cop City. This is a website named as such. No police military base in Willowney Forest. The city of Atlanta has leased 381 acres of Willowney Forest, stolen Muscogee land, to the Atlanta Police Foundation for a police military facility funded by corporations. Wow, that sounds cool. The plans include military-grade training facilities, a mock city to practice urban warfare. Wait, they're wait, they're full on, they're full on doing the like. Okay, dozens of shooting ranges and a Black Hawk helicopter landing pad. Okay, so this isn't just like a one city police department thing. This is literally like they're building a fortress city. It's being funded solely by the police association. Impressive. Okay, here, let's start with the basics. Defend Atlanta Forest, a decentralized social movement whose goal is to stop construction of the Atlanta Public Safety <laughs> The Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. Is it not always named something like that? Cop City is a huge cop training facility that would flatten a forest. People protested by chaining themselves to trees and stuff. Cops kill one of the protesters and then charge their two with domestic terrorism. Spoilers. Yeah, I've heard about the domestic terrorism and the person who was killed. We need to look at that. Yeah, okay. Proponents of the training facility said the project is necessary to improve police morale and to fight rising crime in Atlanta. Man, it sure is great that we had the, like, basically, like, America's largest protest ever for a year and a half with Black Lives Matter, and the response from the entirety of America, people in power, was, okay, well, what if we added more police, though? Like, literally, there's no, just directly, tens of millions of protesters, like, okay, yeah, even the Democrats, man. Also, yeah, improving police morale. Mm -hmm. They've said there's no feasible alternative location for the training center in the old Atlanta prison farm is not a... F okay, to be clear, I don't really care, like, where the... For me, the forest being raised is way less concerning than what they're raising it to build. But, you know, I, I mean, they're being cheeky about it, I guess. Kind of looks like a forest to me. Looks forest-esque, in my opinion. Over one-third of Atlanta's budget in 2022 goes to the police department, about $250 million. Great. Atlanta is the most surveilled city in the U.S. Criticism of the police and associated unrest have reduced police morale. The city has also struggled with rising crime, suffering 150 homicides in 2020, which is the most in a single year since the 1990s. Advocates for the proposed training facility have said the project is an attempt to address these problems. The $90 million proposed training center would include a shooting range in a mock village that has led to the project being named Cop City. The city is expected to pay one-third the cost, with the American Police Foundation paying the rest. Okay, let's take a look at this group. National Policing Institute. So it's a subsidiary of them? American Police Foundation Wikipedia. It's not hyperlinked in the, in the article there, so I guess this is what they're referring to? But maybe not? That's interesting. The SCC conflict has consistently been placed in the context of settler colonialism. Man, that feels like a, uh, that feels like a weird way to frame this first and foremost, from an optics perspective. A lot of people in America are not going to get behind, like, don't build this thing in a forest because of settler colonialism. But the, I don't know. I mean, whatever. Well, however you want to front it, I guess. It's all valid. Cox Enterprises is a corporate investor in the training facility and owns the city's major daily newspaper, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, which has published multiple editorials in favor of the facility. Wow, we really are getting full-on, like, cyberpunk shit here, aren't we? Oh yeah, a major founder of Cop City is Corporation X, which also owns the newspaper and publishes articles favorable to the... Here's the American Police Foundation website. I googled it and nothing came up. Wait, this is bullshit. This is, uh, this ain't it. This can't be it. No, look, look at this. This is just like a generic police thing. This isn't the right one. American Police Foundation. Also... Any, any organization capable of fronting the bill for this would have a better website than this. Look, there's nothing over here. Support our police? Want a dono link? This isn't it. I think it's the Atlanta Police Foundation. So is it just a typo that it's called the America Police Foundation over here? The Atlanta Police Foundation seems like a far more likely, uh, you know. Yeah, the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. So, if I go to the Atlanta Police Foundation on Wikipedia, it does not have a specific Wikipedia page. Any information on its wealth? On its means? Following the money, who is paying for the $90 million Atlanta Police hey, Training Facility? You've heard a lot of Thanks, Autoplay. Much appreciated, as always. From 11 Alive. 
Eleven Alive looked at the tax filings, which showed 80% of the money comes from private donations. Okay, yeah, here it says Atlanta Police Foundation. So this, America Police Foundation right here, that's a typo, which is weird. 80% coming from private donations. Really? So the Atlanta Police Foundation is a non-profit that has contributed about two-thirds of the cost of this, with the city paying the remaining one-third. And it's a non-profit that attained that money overwhelmingly through private donations. The Atlanta Police Foundation's police board is filled with executives from nearly all of Atlanta's big-name companies, the like Delta, Waffle House, The Home Depot, Georgia Pacific, Equifax, Carter, Accenture, Atlanta police Wells Fargo, and UPS, Sequoia among Turner others. Case as an example of Sound? when Crime Stoppers helped them track down suspects. Dude, that autoplay shit, man. It's so annoying. Why do they have news sites do that? Why do they do that? That's so annoying. I don't always have my earbuds in. I don't like always having my earbuds in. It's so stupid. It's really f***ing annoying. Here, I, I should always do this by default. Let me just mute the site. I know I could do that easily. I just forget to. And they shouldn't have autoplay anyway. I know you can mute the tab. I'm aware. Just, like, stupid. Okay, so, so, so far what we have right here is essentially the plot to Robocop. Do I have that correctly? Like, the... The whole point of that movie, well, not the whole point, it's a, it's a good movie, but I mean, we're basically talking about, like, um, the, the police as an institution exist, exist to protect private property and keep the proles in line, so corporations have a moneyed interest in making sure the police continue to do that work, and so to that effect, we're essentially seeing a non-profit operated and controlled by corporations using money provided by private donations pay for, alongside the city itself, a fortress city for police officers to learn how to strangle black people to death. Do we have that? Do we have that correct? The APF training facility is opposed by a coalition of environmental groups, racial justice groups, and neighborhood associations. Plans were approved by the city in September 2021 ever after 17 hours of public comment from over 1,100 residents, 70% of whom opposed the project. Why even pretend? Why even have a public forum on your, like, cop city development plans if uh, a more than two-to-one ratio against the project doesn't matter? Residents have expressed concern the approval process was secretive with limited input from affected communities, obviously. The city appointed a community advisory committee. Yeah, advisory committee. And Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens said that there is a lot of room for input. You cuck, you coward. The advisory committee does not include representatives from environmental groups and does include representatives from the police and fire departments in the Dickens administration. Okay, nice, great. So our community advisory committee is filled with cops and, uh, 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 you know, um, members of the local political uh, 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 cabinet. A vocal critic of the facility was removed by the advisory committee. STC supporters have led divestment movements against APF corporate sponsors and four week of action campaigns in 2021 to 2022, featuring music, supply drives, skill shares, history lessons about the area. Two environmental orgs have filed a lawsuit against the film studio development. Here we go. Yeah. January 2023 protest. On January 21st, 2023, protesters marched from underground Atlanta down Peachtree Street. At the intersection with Ellis Street, some protesters damaged institutions who support the facility and burned an Atlanta Police Department vehicle. Good. Six arrests were made. Responding to condemnation of these acts, the Stop Cop City issued a statement where they said the destruction of material is fundamentally different from violence. All reported acts appear to be explicitly targeted against financial backers. On December 13, 2022, a task force of multiple police agencies conducted a joint raid of the training facility site. Five people were arrested and charged with domestic terrorism. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation has said the road flares, gasoline, and explosive devices were found in the area. Wait, road flares, expl wait, road flares and gasoline? Road flares, you can find these in the back of like a bunch, like cars, like, like people's cars. Same with gasoline. What explosive devices? On January 18th, 2023, Georgia state troopers launched another raid. During the raid, a trooper was shot in the leg, and a protester identified as Manuel Tiran, also known as Tortu Tortuguita, was killed by police. Yes, I've heard of this. 
Police stated Tehran was the one who shot the trooper, although they have provided no evidence and do not have body cam footage of the shooting. Great. GBI, that's um, Georgia Bureau of Investigation, Forensic and Ballistic Analysis, determined that the projectile recovered from the officer's wound matched the handgun found in Tehran's possession. What do you mean? When they say projectile recovered matched the handgun, do they just mean like the caliber? Like 9mm bullet, 9mm pistol? Is there any way they can track a bullet to a gun better than the caliber? Because if it was just like, oh, it was 9mm, yeah, so are a lot of guns. Like, a lot of guns. Barrel grooves? No, I've heard about that, but how much does that actually get used? I've heard that it's possible to do this, like, bullet fingerprint stuff, but I don't know how much of that cops actually do, and how much of that is just, like, it's hypothetically possible, and it was done in one of the Batman movies. Because, like, they can say, like, yeah, we found the connection, but I don't know what the f*** they actually mean when they say that. They use it every time. I don't know if I buy that. It, as a general rule, I think it's fair to be, like, really suspicious of the degree of specificity that cops employ when it comes to investigating, especially when it comes to crimes against the cops themselves, you know? Like, uh, if they're saying that, uh, yeah, we found evidence that connects the bullet to the gun, I'm gonna need, like, a very specific and detailed uh, breakdown on how exactly that happened, because otherwise I'm assuming that you didn't do shit. It's like, cops lie all the time is to protect all oh, like literally we yeah we did an investigation and we found that the bullet was like there and the gun was there so there was a connection yeah it matched the handgun i need like actual evidence firearm forensics is pretty much bs i yeah i've heard a lot of shit saying that it's really not that good this is from scientific american few studies of firearms exist those that do indicate the examiners cannot reliably determine whether bullets or cartridges were fired by a particular gun okay like keep in mind Cops have a hard enough time getting clean fingerprints from a scene. Can you imagine getting, like, consistent, reliable forensics data from a bullet? Do you know how fast those things move? <laughs> like, the uh, get, getting that information from a bullet... I know one thing they can do consistently is you can trace um, trajectories. That's relatively easy to do. Cops do reliably do that. However, like... The, like, yeah, man, we, we found this shattered remain of a lead, like, center buried in some concrete, and we did math, and we found that the grooves on the, yeah, I, I'm, mm, mm. I need proof. Cops essentially made up handwriting analysis, bite mark analysis, bullet casing analysis, fraudulent. Oh, also, for, like, legitimately, the idea that, um, the, the the whole field of, like, a cop who can sit in a room with a perp and look at them and read their body language to find out if they're guilty, it's bullshit. People who have a good, like, intuitive sense of empathy might be able to read some stuff, but the idea that you can get consistent or reliable or forensically or criminologically useful information... But, like, you hear about cop body language experts all the time, but in reality, there's a whole cottage industry of people associated with the police who will just make up new ways they can justify convictions they already wanted to get, you know? Yeah, it's like psychics or whatever. Just recommend the two-hour Mooncat vid in this. I haven't seen the video. I, I don't know who Mooncat is. But if it's good, then sure. Mooncat's body language video is amazing. Okay, well, there we go, I guess. They do this shit in Baltimore a lot. Um, the, the, the fact of the matter is, is that police are fucking terrible at their jobs. A huge number of crimes never get properly investigated, never lead to reasonable convictions. Cops are, listen, listen to any like true crime show. They may not focus on it. Listen to how much police incompetence is like a feature of every element of our, um, uh, uh criminal investigation system. Police are terrible. They are f***ing incompetent. Have you ever looked at those pigs? Have you heard them talk? Have you listened to them blubber? You seriously think they're good at their jobs? Come on. Every Everything we've ever learned about cops, ever, when looking into them on this stream or elsewhere, has only given further light to their broad class-based incompetence. Because again, their only job isn't really to uh, serve the public good or interest or to protect people from crimes or to investigate murders or blah blah. It is to form walls that block protesters from defacing banks after the banks cripple a city. That's their actual job. That's the thing that if they didn't do, they would get in real shit for. A cop can be bad at an investigation, bad at, like, calming people down, bad at de-escalation, bad at solving crimes, but as long as that cop can show up to a protest and keep a bank from getting f***ed up, 
uh, they are doing their job. And if they can't do that last part, that is what they will get sacked for. That is the thing they'll get sacked for. Their incompetence is largely a feature, not a bug. So, yeah, I don't believe they're forensic bullshit unless it is very specifically and clearly laid out to me because they have spent decades lying constantly about it. I mean, go back to the goddamn, like, witch trials or whatever, the whole, like, if, if she sinks or if she swims bullshit. People have always been making up magical ways of determining the guilt of people they already have decided are guilty. They use psychics, bro. The usefulness of psychics in police investigations is controversial, but psychics have long been and will undoubtedly continue to be involved in unsolved criminal investigations. So hey, if your younger sister ever gets raped, killed, and cut up into 16 pieces and thrown into a dumpster, you can rest easy knowing that the cops may or may not involve a psychic in their effort to find out which particular black male they could find in the area uh, did the crime. That's a 30-year-old paper. Well, hey, we'll continue to be. And it's not like psychics were any less fake 30 years ago. Surely not still a thing? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Seven face domestic terrorism charges following deadly cop city clash in Atlanta. We have now confirmed seven protesters have been arrested and charged with domestic terrorism after a shootout near Cop City left a protester dead and a Georgia State Patrol trooper wounded. We first brought you this story as breaking news yesterday at noon. Last night, about 200 people who have been involved in the protest came together for a vigil in Little Five Points. They say their efforts to protect the forest will continue. Never did I think that I would be standing here. Yeah, again, uh, this this sounds really petty and stupid on my part. It does. It seems so odd to me that this is being framed as an environmental thing. You know, it might just be like different priorities or whatever. But to me, like a bunch of shadow donations being used by a council of corporate benefactors to build a cop fortress outside of town that they'll use to uh, militarize the police seems like I, I, I guess like I don't know, like where I'd focus my attention personally. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I feel like this, I feel like framing this as an environmental thing maybe undersells the, you know, like they could go for different angles exactly. On a recent Chapo episode, they were reading about a voice anal analysis quack who's unironically been used in cases. He claims he can listen to emergency calls and determine from word choice whether the caller was the actual killer. Literal Among Us call. No, no, yeah, literally. I, I swear to God, dude, I, I, if you, in terms of like reliable behavior from police, it, whenever you toss information into the void that is the criminal justice per, like system, you literally might as well be going back to like the Ido Japan period or something. You literally like, ah, listen, all right, well, we have a local spirit whisperer who can, you know, who will uh, take your information and, and use this, this uh, incense burner to determine the, it, it, there's no... <sighs> Look, I just hate cops. I just hate cops. I really do. I really do. I just hate cops. I do. I hate the institution. A lot of the people who join up with the cops do so because they're stupid pieces of shit to begin with and horrible human beings and they just want to use power to hurt others. Sometimes good people join up with the cops, but then they're cops, you know? You can be a good person and a cop. You really can't be a good cop. I mean, I guess you can be a cop who has consequentially beneficial actions if you, like, somehow very specifically engage in only the behaviors that are socially necessary and not the broader stuff. And I guess that's possible given enough people in the policing institution. But man, f do I hate cops. I, oh my God. Oh, okay, sorry. I got distracted for a second there. Responding to an incident where the police have killed a protester, shot and killed them. Apparently the cop was shot by friendly fire, not the protesters. Overwhelmingly, that is what I will assume. But is there any evidence for that? Cops say Atlanta forest protector shot first. Activists aren't so sure. Law enforcement killed a 26-year-old demonstrating against proposed 90 million cop. Somehow the cams only caught the aftermath. What is this 11 Alive site, by the way? Is this just like Atlanta-specific news? They're all over this. GBI says body cam video exists of aftermath of deadly cop city clash. Dude, that's so crazy. Hey, in this story where a cop getting fired at led to them killing a protester. It's crazy how they don't have body cam footage of that, but they have body cam footage of the aftermath of the shooting. You know? That's so wacky. That's so crazy. That's so interesting. That's so fascinating. I'm intrigued by this information. Georgia State Police has not released body cam footage or meaningful details, and we're concerned by a police cover-up could be underway. 
We know that Georgia. So again, keep in mind when we were reading the wiki article and they were like, the Georgia investigative bureau did, uh, did forensics on the bullet and found it matched the gun by the protester. Like, was that a, did, did you release a say like report on that? Or did you just say that? Not to mention all seven of them being charged for domestic terrorism, I guess for being in the, in the, in the company of like what? Road flares and fireworks? Here's the person who was killed. The exact point of the terrorism charges is to scare people away from protesting. That's true. And so I'd be letting them win. Yeah, even if the terrorism charges don't stick in the courts, the whole point is to like dissuade people from protesting. Um, the whole point is like, yeah, if you, if you try to keep us from building the cop fortress, we'll ruin your life forever. Meanwhile, you have pro-cop rags with titles like this. Yeah, the broader conservative media has been um, defending the cops in their crackdowns here. Spoiled children of privilege trying to burn Atlanta down. Yeah, I, yeah, I've seen, I saw the Tucker Carlson bit. We saw it with Marjorie Taylor Greene for a bit. Uh, literally, like, earlier, earlier today, um, I, I think it was earlier today, uh, Ron DeSantis was saying that in order to get a death penalty conviction on a defendant, you shouldn't actually need all 12 jurors, maybe 8 out of 12. That's not a joke. The guy who might end up being the next president of the United States was saying, uh, no, actually, you don't need, you don't need all of the jurors for the death penalty. That's not necessary. You could just get like eight out of 12. The constitution doesn't matter. I don't actually think 12, uh, jurors is necessarily, uh, constitutionally ordained. They literally had body cams in pictures when they came and killed him. Yeah. And they were on too. They just deleted the footage. You see the Matt Walsh death penalty tweets, the one where he said that um, thieves should be beaten um, until they were bloodied and death, uh, a death penalty should be used for all drug dealers. Yes, I saw. As I have said many times, uh, the Republicans are functionally just a Nazi party. Uh, when given power, they will be every bit as wanton and cruel with the expressions of that violence as the Nazis were. There is literally nothing ideologically that would prevent Republicans from doing any of the worst excesses of the death camps. They are fine with it. Remember they claim to hate Muslims because they do that stuff in certain countries? It has always been the prerogative of the conservative to simultaneously tout American exceptionalism over the supposedly backwards rest of the world, while also championing everything that makes those countries uh, backwards. I.e., you, uh, you gays want to complain about America? How, how can you complain about living in America when Saudi Arabia is so anti-gay? They would put you to death for being gay. Meanwhile, the conservative saying this wants them to be put to death for being gay. They want to do the thing. So, you know, it's not actually a real argument. His tweets from today were actually insane. Vosh, look at this one, the one above. Yeah, I saw this. People are scandalized. I advocated harsh punishments for criminals like in Singapore. My critics are right. Must better to be tolerant of drugs and crime. So every American city looks like a post-apocalyptic wasteland. This is the working out great. I think you can find cities in literally every country on earth that look like this. At least some parts of it. We wouldn't want to execute the people who have turned... Also, keep in mind, the only reason we have parts of our cities that look like this is because of economic and social policies that he supports. So, income inequality is the direct and explicit reason why we have slums in our cities. And he supports that. He supports every policy, every moment in history that brings us towards that point. So, essentially, he creates the poor, and then he uses the existence of a poor as the justification for martial punishment or executions. Nazi shit. We wouldn't execute the people who have turned our cities into a zombie film. They're just chill. That'd be mean. Let's keep them alive so that our communities can be unlivable, disgusting hellscapes. Great plan, guys. This doesn't, like, again, like, it doesn't even mean, I, I mean, obviously, the, the signaled intention here is, like, racism and classism. Like, just, it's genocidal language, yeah. Is he calling for the murder of the homeless? Um, I think he's, it's, it's calling for the murder of drug dealers, but the strategic ambiguity here means that it can be broadly targeted to the poor uh, and to people of color as well. That's the point. Fun fact, most people trained uh, Cop City aren't from Atlanta too. Oh yeah, of course. This is like a cop special. The worst cops in any city don't live in that city. They live in the suburbs around it. You have these white doughboys uh, who live like 30 minutes out from the city center in these suburbs uh, in a totally different community, definitely with different demographics. And then they go on into the city for their high-paying, uh, you know, um, uh, urban policing work. 
uh, where they get to, uh, you know, internally maintain white supremacy. 43% of training will be for cops who live, oh, not just outside of Atlanta, but outside the state of Georgia. Nice. For real, Vosh, what Matt Walsh is saying isn't that different from the rhetoric of people who defend or deny the Armenian Genocide? Okay, to be clear, nobody in America cares about the Armenian Genocide. No, it, nobody in America has opinions on Armenians. They don't know what the Armenian Genocide is. They have no opinion on it. This is a very non-American consideration. Uh, it's difficult for me to, like, translate these concepts interculturally because, like, I, I mean, maybe, sure, but it's, it's, it's these, these conflicts don't overlap. Like, the, the America Cop City or Matt Walsh shit, like, we just don't have opinions on that. Except TYT, sure, except for TYT or whatever. I think Biden recognized it last year, right? Yeah, a, a head of state. That does not mean that the average American has any idea at all. Nice. Anyway, they want you dead. It really has been majority bad news lately, hasn't it? It just feels like every day, um, the Republican, like, we just get, like, another chunk of Republican messaging that's essentially like, yeah, we're Nazis, deal with it. 